This is a tutorial on how to use the Keyword Gap tool inside Search Atlas. You have two ways of using this tool. The first way is to do a domain level gap analysis, meaning you're going to look for what are all of the keyword gaps from the site that you're working on and the organic competitors holistically across the entire domain. The other option is to do this on the page or the subdomain level. So if you're using a page, instead of importing the root domain, you're importing just a specific landing page, and you're comparing that to other specific landing pages. Um, whereas if you do the domain version, you're plugging in the root domain and the root domain of all the competitors, and you're getting a site-wide gap analysis, right? So the first row, you're going to put in the site that you're working on. Each subsequent row, you're going to put one unique competitor, either domain or target page or subdomain. Once you plug in your fields, you're going to hit Analyze Keywords, and you're going to get presented with a report that looks like this. So the first tab on this report is going to be Keywords in Common, meaning what are the keywords that we are ranking for that all of the competitors are also ranking for? And this provides a very powerful visualization that helps us see our rank in direct relation to the sites that we're competing with in search. What's also really great about this tool is when you hover over any page or any keyword rank, you get to see the page title as well as the URL and the ranking position of the site in question. The next report here is going to be the keyword gap. So this is going to show you a list of all of the keywords that every single competitor is ranking for that your site is not ranking for. And this helps us bridge the keyword gap. Right? It helps us create content to target keywords that we can empirically see our competitors are earning traffic from, but we either do not have a page for that keyword yet, or the page that we do have is under-optimized, so it's not ranking in the top 100 of search results. Again, this report is showing you keywords that all of your competitors are ranking for, but you are not, and it's going to be sorted by search volume. Again, if you hover over the rank, it shows you the page title, the URL, and the position of the competitor. So you can use this to better understand what is the search intent behind the keyword that we're trying to optimize. Is it a home page? Is it a product page? Is it a commercial landing page? Is it a solution page? Is it a blog post? Is it a glossary? This really helps you at a glance determine what type of content asset you need in order to rank for the given keyword by understanding what your competitors have done. The keyword opportunities are similar in the sense that it is going to show you keywords that one or more sites of your competitors are ranking, but you are not ranking, right? So the gap is saying all of the competitors rank, but you don't rank. The opportunities are saying at least one competitor ranks, but you don't rank. So this list is going to be a lot more extensive than the previous list, but it does show you a ton of valuable opportunities. Uh, a good way to use this tool is to set position filters either on the top 10, so key, <clears throat> keywords that the competitors are ranking for within the top 10, or by selecting specific competitors and looking at just where they, they happen to be ranking for a particular keyword, like 1 to 10, for example. And again, here, when you hover over the competitor, it shows you the title, the URL, and the ranking position so you can understand the search intent. Uh, unique keywords are showing you the inverse. It's showing you keywords that you are ranking for that none of your competitors are ranking for, right? So it's the inverse of the gap. And then all is, as the name implies, showing you the total universe, the total like keyword universe for all of the sites within this sample size. And again, what you want to do here is ideally probably set some position filters, look at you know, the keywords that are performing the best, uh, look at what is the search intent, what type of page do I need, and look to then emulate the content strategy or systematically bridge the keyword gap based off of this analysis. If this data set is too large, you can always export it, plug it into a spreadsheet, and analyze and refine your strategy from there. Up here, you do also get a visualization that shows you what your keyword universe looks like in direct relation to your competitors uh, to, again, help make the case of creating more content and expanding your overall reach.